Uh, so this, we've had lots of fun and games, kids all ages, as you can see, we've got girls, we've got boys, we've got all sorts. We're here nine till three. We do uh, some more fun based like TIG warm up games in the morning. And then uh, in the background, we've got a tournament going on this afternoon. So it's lots and lots of fun activities for the kids. And how important do you think it is for kids at this age to get out in the summer holidays and have lots of fun? Oh, it's massive. It's massive because when I was a kid, I was coming to these. It was really good fun. And, you know, we've got this age now. It's techno technology. Everyone's on social media media, Twitter, Facebook, or playing games on their Xbox, and it's much better for them to get out, have a social connection with us as coaches, other kids, and just have a play, play a bit of football, have a bit of fun. You obviously said that you used to do these camps as a yeah. kid, it must fill you with pride now that you're obviously here as a coach now. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit weird to be honest, because I never expected it when, back when I was here, Andy Morris were doing it, and then you've got little old Liam from Brim, who stood delivering it, it is a bit weird, but yeah, I love my job, and I love doing it, so. And, and what, what do you say the best part about these camps are? Best part about the camps, oh, for me, it's just seeing the smiles on the kids' faces. They just, it's, it's a great day for everyone. Uh, everyone has lots of fun, and that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Yeah, like you say, the kids look like they're having fun, but more importantly, you guys, the coaches, you guys look like you're having a good time. Is that, is that a fair Oh, comment? mate, definitely. When you guys go, I'll be getting involved. I'll be playing some matches. I'll no doubt score some goals. I've got my brother here with me, so I'm going to go in for him. That's the sort of thing. It's all a load of fun. And you're obviously a Chesterfield fan yourself, so yeah. you, you watch the first team, but obviously this is the sort of side that people don't see, isn't it? The side for, from for Chesterfield Football Club that people don't see, and it's just it's, it's vitally important, isn't it? Yeah, it's massive. I think this is it's a great thing that you guys are doing with the media spreading the awareness of stuff like this because not everyone sees it and it, the more kids we can get involved in this sort of thing the more kids we can get off the of screens onto the football pitch it's brilliant for the football club and what would your message be to anyone at home who, who's thinking about coming and giving it a go give it a go it's fantastic it's fun you will have one of the best days of your lives i promise you that Uh, so, girls from age 5 to 15 just come down, have a little bit of fun, just a little bit of freedom to be fair while they're playing football. And just lots of football? Yeah, lots of football. And and how important do you feel it is to get girls of this age into football nice and early? Oh, 100%. If they're, if they're from early age, then they're going to be able to play with England, other players and things like that. It's going to be brilliant. And do the girls here talk about the, the Lionesses as well? Sometimes, yes. Some of them. And what would you say to anyone sat at home that's sort of considering coming to do one of these camps and to the, to the females at home, what would you say, would you message them? 100% just come, even if you've never played football before, just come, we'll teach you and have a lot of fun. Uh, we've been doing some dribbling, we've been trying to practice accuracy, 1v1s and 2v2s. And it's not just about the football here, is it? Do you think no. it's more about just having fun and meeting lots making of Making friends, yeah. Making friends, having fun, all that. And, and would you say you've made lots of friends here? Yeah. And what would you say to anyone sat at home that's similar sort of age to you, who's thinking about coming, what would your message be to them? I'd say come down, it's really, really good fun. Um, all the coaches help you, if you need anything, the coaches are there for you. It's really, really good. A lot of them are my age, but everyone else is bigger than me, us guys. Everyone else is bigger than you. So w would you say that people your age should come down? More people your age should come and do these camps? Yeah. Yeah? So so then uh, a bit, so then we can all join each other and we know more names. Yeah, so today we've had, we've come in and we've just got to make sure everybody's there and we've come up and had a warm up and then we've played um, this game where it's swim fishy swim and it's you have to get them to connect the ribs and just have to go around and we play games and make sure everybody gets involved and make sure everybody has a fun time here so and would you say that you've been having lots of fun today yeah yeah, loads. What, Everybody's been enjoying it. A everyone's lot. been enjoying it. Yeah. And what's been the best part about today? Um, teamwork. Like, cause making new friends and you can get a lot of teamwork, and it's good for socialising and that. Um, so it's quite good because you get to see people, you know, but have fun at the same time. So. It's uh, quite and what fun. would your message be to anyone at home that's thinking about coming and doing these camps, but they're not too sure? What would you say to anyone your age that wants to come down? Uh. You just do it because, like, you're gonna make new friends, and 
if you have a problem, you can speak to your supervisor or whoever's like helping you, and you can just suggest. And it, it's just a, it's just a good place to be, and it's fun, and it's just socialising and fun, and.